it's Fridia and Everest here and today I got a question on my Instagram asking if I can give her tips and advice on traveling with a baby. If you follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram then you would know that we just came back from our first trip to the East Coast. We went to North Carolina and did our first airplane flight. Five hours and you know what? It went pretty well. First things first, before you get on any flight, I would suggest you call that airline and ask how they do everything. If you can take your stroller up to the gate, if there's a weight thing, how many bags, because apparently every airline is different. We took American Airlines and we were able to bring our car seat and stroller all the way up to the gate, check that in, and we just brought the baby Baby was able to bring an extra bag for him and one carry-on for the both of us. One thing about American Airlines that was not so great, there's actually a few, but one of the main things, you weren't able to board the flight if you had a baby or an infant or a child. Tip number two, book your flight when you know your baby will be calm. Now everyone knows most babies between the hours of 3 to 7 p.m. they are extra fussy, tired, hungry, whatever it is. They're just fussy pants. Um, so for me, I knew that if I booked a later flight, he would possibly go to sleep. He always goes to bed 7, 7.30, so I booked my flight to leave at 7 o'clock, and for us, it worked. Tip number three, try to get to the gate early. For us, Leaving Los Angeles was so crazy because we just had to pack everything. It was our first trip. We got to the airport right when our flight was boarding, which is not a good idea. If you get there early, like we did on our way back, um, you're able to see if they have like a full row for you guys to take because usually they do. And that's what happened with us actually, luckily on the way there and on the way back, they gave us a whole three seater. So it was me, the baby and the husband. Most of the time baby's on my lap, but in between the flight, he was able to sit in his seat and play around. So get to the gate early. Tip number four, bring your carrier on board, your ergo or whatever it is. One, once you have the baby in the carrier, you have your hands free. While you're waiting to board the flight, you can kind of just sway around and get your baby all calm. Also in flight, now, I didn't know this, but once you're taking off and landing, you're not allowed to have the baby in the carrier. At least American Airlines, they said no. They said to just hold him with my seatbelt on. Um, but throughout the flight, when he would want to go to sleep, it was just so much easier to have him in the carrier and him lie on me, holding him like this, rather than me just cradling him which I did try, and after a while, your arm gets really numb and really heavy, and you can't move or do anything, but if you have him in the little carrier, it's just so much easier. Tip number five, if you have a traveling buddy that's not a baby, maybe that's a good idea. I'm really grateful that my husband came with me because I was able to ask him to hold Everest while I went to the bathroom or when I had to go grab a bottle of water. Um, I think that really just made me calm down even more. If it was me alone on my very first trip, I don't know, I think I, I would have been a little bit more stressed, but because I had my husband around, I think I was a little bit more at ease. Which brings me to the next advice, is try not to stress. I know it's really hard, but babies, infants, they can read off of you, and if you're stressed, that's gonna make them stressed or disappointed. At least that's what I read. So the whole time, I was just trying to keep my cool. At the end of the day, if we get from one destination to the other in one full piece, <laughs> then we did our job. So I, I don't know, I wasn't trying to stress about everything in between. Next tip is just make sure you have his diaper or anything you need that you're able to just like grab out of your bag, not store it up on top, maybe put it down underneath. Um, because there are a few times where he had a few spills, I needed to grab a wipe or we needed to go to the bathroom because he was pooping and it was smelling. So I like that I had my diaper bag and everything pre-packed right 
here so I could just like pick it up, grab the baby and go. Next tip is to keep your baby entertained. Now when we were taking off, he was so excited. He was on the window, he was just smiling, he saw all the lights flickering and it was great. He was just like stimulated. As Soon as we got up on the flight, he was awake so we needed to have something that he could play with. Now my mistake was I brought all his favorite toys. Well, guess what? He doesn't want to play with favorite toys. He wants to play with new things. He was grabbing for the magazine, for the snacks, for the cup. Those plastic cups though did help. My friend suggested to go to either Target or Toys R Us and they have like a dollar to three dollar corner. Go there and just buy some trinkets, some maybe a book, a sticker book, a few new toys and bring that on the flight. I thought that was really smart because it is true. Once you give or show the baby a new toy to play with, you can probably keep him preoccupied for 30 minutes to an hour. Another thing I did was I pre-packed a little bit of some um, infant snacks, which were like the little yogurt, dry, frozen cubes that dissolve, not cubes, little circles that dissolve in the baby's mouth. I also had some baby biscuits. Um, these were new. I tried them the night before just to see, but I did bring them on flight and that kept him preoccupied for a little bit because if he was starting to get a little like, you know, I need to move or something, you just hand that to him and he was just kind of playing it, playing with it in his mouth. So that really helped. Another friend of mine mentioned that if you bring your iPad and have the place where he can draw that little notepad, um, that can keep him distracted. I tried that. Unfortunately, he was still too little to understand the whole concept. So that didn't work out. I just brought my iPad for nothing. Another big thing, for me at least, if you still nurse, then try to nurse as much as possible. As soon as we got up in the air, I nursed him. He was calm. He was almost dozing off. It was great. An hour into the flight, he was getting a little, you know, like I need to move around. I nursed him and he passed out. He was in the ergo on top of me for maybe like three, four hours. And then he woke up for the last hour and it was perfect. So nursing really calms the baby down. It really helped me. It also helps them when um, they're going up and down because of their ears. So if you don't nurse, um, make sure you bring your formula. I'm sure you can grab warm water or water up on the flight. For me, nursing helped a lot. Next tip is bring a clothes for the baby and for yourself. We did have a little accident where he peed on the side. It's a good thing we had an extra pair of pants. Also have something to change for the mom, at least a top because you never know when there's gonna be an accident. Since it was at night, I did put him in his PJs but I made it a two piece just so that it's easier for me to change him in the airplane instead of doing the whole onesie and I have to take everything off type of thing. But whatever's easier for you, so just make sure the baby's comfy. It's actually cold up there, so have some socks, a light jacket, anything to keep him warm. A change of clothes always helps. The last tip is just have fun. You're getting to travel with your baby, which a lot of people, believe it or not, are not fortunate enough or don't even have the guts to do. I have so many friends that have babies that are just like, we can't go anywhere because we have a baby, which I think is untrue. Me, myself, um, my mom and dad were traveling with me as soon as I was born. We were traveling to Brazil and all around. Just enjoy it, don't stress. If anyone says anything, don't worry about it. Let it go one year out the other. Fortunately for us, we didn't have anyone say anything bad. We actually had a really nice comment on the way back. This one guy who was on the other side of our seats, um, as soon as we landed, he looked at us and he said, best traveling baby ever. And it was such a compliment because actually that flight coming back, he was just like he didn't want to sleep or stay still or anything. So we, my husband and I, really try to keep him entertained with reading books and toys and all that stuff. But luckily he didn't cry or it wasn't too fussy. We got lucky, I think. So these were my tips and advices. Hopefully they come in handy to someone. Hopefully you have a very safe, fun-filled, 
smooth, stressless travel. Thank you for your question and thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, write them down below and I'll try to reply to them as much as I can. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. See you guys in a video very soon. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>